Hey guys, Sailor here, the FedEx Fat, back with another video. Did you know that China has 1.4 billion people? It's a lot of people. And with that, did you know that they also have a lot of convenience stores? Probably the most in the world. I could be wrong about that, but I, it, it seems like they are absolutely everywhere. I'm in Guangzhou, which is one of the biggest cities in China, and literally everywhere you go, there are convenience stores. Um, they have big chain ones like 7-Eleven, uh, Family Mart, Circle K, this kind of thing. And they have their own companies, their own uh, domestic big chain convenience stores as well. And they have a bunch of mom and pop owned shops. It just seems like there's convenience stores everywhere. So you can't walk down a street without being able to stop at a convenience store, buy a pack of cigarettes, buy a cold beer, buy a drink, or buy whatever you need, just a quick snack or some things for the house. These convenience stores are absolutely everywhere. Now, today, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to walk home from where I am now. I just finished up for what I need to do today. I'm going to walk home. Now, normally I don't walk home. Normally I take the subway or I take a, take a taxi. I'm gonna walk home. Uh, now, it's about, it would take me about an hour to walk home. But what I'm gonna do, just to show you how many convenience stores there are, is I am going to stop at every convenience store that my eyes come across on my walk home. And we're gonna to try to count how many there are. Now, catch to it, this is the challenge part. Every store that I stop at, I'm gonna have an ice cold beer. And we're gonna see how many ice cold beers I can have before I get home. And we'll see if I'm still standing by the time I get home. Uh, let's see, this will be a fun challenge. You're gonna see how many, how many convenience stores there are, because it's just an unreal amount. And, uh, We'll see if I can make it home without uh, collapsing. Let's get going here. So I just hit convenience store number one, got my first beer. I was looking for small cans, they didn't have any small cans. I might be in trouble because I don't know if I can do uh, all tall cans today, but we're gonna see. Uh, this is beer number one, uh, let's get started. I'm starting this walk uh, to my place. Normally if I were to walk, it would take an hour, but because I'm gonna stop at so many places, uh, it's gonna take a much longer, I think. But got my beer. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the best parts about China, one of the things I really love about China is that you can drink beer on the street. There's no open container law. So like, I can go to the convenience store and I can get an ice cold beer like now and I can just take it outside and walk. Um, nobody cares. And you know, it's weird. You, you don't see drunk people all over the street, stuff like that. People are, are usually quite civil. I mean, you do occasionally see drunk people on the street, but it's not like they're not falling all over the street, you know. Um, I wish more places didn't have open container laws because uh, I think it makes it a lot more fun. Alright, so I'm just walking. Uh, I got a little while to walk before I hit my next convenience store, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. So I'm just walking here and got this beer, so it's going to take a while to finish it, but I think I got a good at least 5 to 10 minutes before the next one, I think, because on this side of the road here, there's not much, there's not much here. so. Anyway, I, I think I got a while to go before I hit the net. What the? There's something. <laughs> There's a family mart right across the street. Right there. I don't know if you guys could see it. There's a family mart right across the street, literally, you know, 700 meters from the last family mart. Uh, I did say that every convenience store I see with my eyes on this trip, I would have to get a beer. So I'm gonna have to go across the street there. I'm gonna have to go across the street there and get another beer at that family mart. Across the street, got across the street. Almost finished beer number one. 
I really hope they have small cans at this family mart because I don't really want to stick to the big cans for the whole time. Let's see, let's hope. They did not have any small cans at that family mart. I could be in trouble at these family marts. Uh, most of the convenience stores are family marts, uh, but there's a lot of 7 Eleven as well. If the convenience stores I'm stopping at are all tall cans, I could be in trouble today. I don't know if I can do this challenge. Guess we'll have to see. Anyways, beer number two. I've got a uh, Qing Tao, Qing Tao, whatever you want to call it. Chinese beer, number one Chinese beer. Um, uh, this one. It's a light lager if you've never had it before. Very similar to like a Coors Light. The alcohol percentage is quite low. It's only, uh, I think it's 4.5. No, it's only 4% actually, so it's quite low, like a Coors Light kind of. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna walk down this way. So I gotta go this way. Here, I'm gonna just walk straight. And we're gonna see where I end up. Hopefully, I have some time to kill before I get to my next convenience store. So I'm gonna kill this Chin Tao on the way. Beer number three from the mom and pop shop. Got a Pearl River, that's a local beer here in Guangzhou. And thank God they had small cans. So, got off the hook on this one. I'm gonna pound this, I'm gonna pound this small can. And I'm gonna head over to stop number four. I believe there's a 7-Eleven at about 500 meters from here. Gotta get going. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was not even 500 meters because I'm already here. You see the 7-Eleven there. I'm already here and I haven't even finished the small can yet. It must be less than 500 meters. So I'm gonna pound the rest of the small can. I'm almost finished and then I'm gonna go head into the 7 Eleven. Really hope they have small cans here and not just tall cans, but we'll see. I'm gonna pound the rest of this. Oh, okay. I'm going to the 7 Eleven. Get beer number four. Got beer number four, 7-Eleven. They had one small can and it's a Chin Tao. Now they got another Chin Tao. They had a nice selection there. 7-Eleven selection of beer is much better than Family Marks. I have to say that. But uh, thank God they had this small can. Uh, but th those other beers were quite tempting actually, to be honest. Uh, I gotta finish this because I don't have much time before I get to the next place because I'm walking down this way. There is a Family Mart less than 500 meters away so i'm gonna try to pound this one before i get to the next stop uh yeah so uh 300 meters away or i i walked about 300 meters and uh realized there's the family mart there i don't know if you can see it there's a family mart there's a problem though there's a f another convenience store right here the internet mart look at that it's called the internet mart it's a convenience store my rule said that I have to stop at every convenience store that I see with my eyes and have a beer. So I gotta finish this one really quickly, get a beer from the internet mart, pound that, then I gotta get down to the family mart, get another beer from there. So I got beer number five here from the Internet Mart. I just got a Harbin. Harbin, this is like, this is one that they had, they only had Budweiser and Harbin in the small can. So I went for the Harbin just because it's lighter beer. I need to try to conserve myself for the way home because there's still quite a bit to go. So I'm gonna pound this, and I gotta go to that family mart there. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it home tonight. All right, so I've almost done this small Harbin. I'm gonna head over to this family mart here. 
bad news. Uh, there might be a thunderstorm because I heard some thunder in the distance. Look at those clouds. What's well, supposed to rain? In the forecast, it didn't say it was supposed to rain, but uh, <laughs> there's thunder in the air. And that's the thing about Guangzhou is like a thunderstorm could come out of nowhere. Uh, I gotta head to this family mart, pound the rest of this carbon, and get beer number six. Thunder. Anyway, I just got out of the family mark. Didn't have any small cans, but I, I got a Corona. That was the smallest thing I could get. So I'm gonna balance Corona. I think I got about at least five to 10 minutes before I get to my next stop. This is beer number six. Uh, I just really hope it doesn't start to rain. Like uh, there's lightning in the distance and thunder in the air. Um, it's one of the things about Guangzhou, it's just a thunderstorm can, can come out of nowhere. Not even when it's not predicted in the forecast, that's the problem. But uh, anyway, beer number six, Corona. This is really shitty because it's beautiful the entire day. The entire day was beautiful. But now, when I want to do this walk, I'm done this out of nowhere. All right, well, I feel like it's gonna downpour any second now. There's lightning in the air. I've almost done this Corona. Thing is, I'm almost at the next stop. There's a C store coming up. Uh, that's the next convenience store. It's about 200 meters away. You can hear the lightning in the air. Uh, so you can hear the thunder in the air, sorry. Uh, and you can see the lightning as well. Look at it. It's going to just pour any minute now. So anyway, I'm gonna get to the C store grab another beer and see if I can get from the C store to the next stop, which is a 7-Eleven, about 500 meters away before it starts to fucking pound, uh, pour down. So uh, I'm gonna see, there's a C store there. See, there's a C store there. I managed to get beer number seven. and lightning in the air. It hasn't started raining yet. I'm gonna try to take this beer. You can hear the thunder. I'm gonna try to get this beer over to the next stop. There is a 7-Eleven not too far from here. That is our next stop, this is beer number seven. And we're heading over to beer number eight at the 7-Eleven. Uh, it's gonna start to rain any Holy oh, shit. Oh. I'm gonna pound this Bud Light and get over 7-Eleven right now. Get over to the 7-Eleven and I realize something. There's a C-Store there. It's that There's another C-Store like less than 500 meters away from the last one. Not even anywhere near this done this Bud Light. I'm gonna pound this Bud Light. I gotta go to that other C-Store. The 7-Eleven is just there. So of course that C-Store didn't have small pants, but I got the weakest beer they had. It was the Pearl River, 3.5%. That might have to run me over. This is beer number eight. Uh, I'm gonna head over to that 7-Eleven. It still hasn't started to rain, thank God. Uh, I might have some time to get over to the 7-Eleven to seek shelter before it starts to rain. So I'm gonna head over there now, pound this Pearl River. Oh, I'm gonna get over there and before it starts to pour. I'm at the 7-Eleven. There's a shelter here. You can see there's a roof over the hat, over my head right now. It's just starting to rain. I might have to hang out here for a little bit. Uh, I'm on beer eight. It's good because I can relax here, finish beer number eight, get beer number nine, and hopefully it will stop raining or it will die down <laughs> in that time and I can make, make it home. Otherwise, I don't know what the I'm gonna do.
still got beer number nine here. I'm in a shopping mall. I don't know where the hell I am actually. I'm in a shopping mall that was near the 7-Eleven. So I found a washroom. I used the washroom. Had to use the washroom. Had eight beers. Had to definitely use the washroom. But uh, I'm in the shopping mall. It seems deserted. So I'm gonna go back downstairs, finish this beer. The weather outside is still terrible, by the way. Uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna go back downstairs, finish this beer. Once it stops raining, I'm gonna head for the home stretch here. I'm almost home. Uh, I think there might be a few more stops on the way, but I don't know. I think we can get there, but uh, I gotta take shelter for this, from this rain because I got my computer and I don't want to uh, get it soaking wet. Letting up, so I had to take shelter in here in this mall. They have a sakia here, it's like a Japanese chain restaurant. They do like gyodon bowls and like curry katsu. I just got like a pork curry katsu, you can see that here. It's a Japanese dish, it's like rice, curry, and a fried pork cutlet. And I know it's not a convenience store, but I got beer number 10, anyways, whatever. But who cares? Uh, it's just a small Asahi, spear number 10 for me. Uh, I'm gonna eat this and hopefully the rain dies down that I can make it home and uh, finish this video. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna eat this curry. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I'll enjoy beer number 10. has not let up unfortunately it is still pouring rain unfortunately uh so i don't know what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna head to the subway to the metro a beer number 10 here i'm gonna head to the metro i'm gonna take the metro home from here which is not that far away and i'm still gonna try to hit as many convenience stores as i can once i get back to my area i think there's at least another three more like i just cannot walk because i don't have an umbrella and i don't have uh yeah i don't have an umbrella and I have my computer with me. I don't want to get it soaking wet. And who knows how long this rain is going to last. So we got beer number 10. I'm going to finish this. Get on to the subway. Get back to home. And get back to my area at least. And uh, hit up a couple more stores on the way home. Let's get going. Just got off the subway back in my area. It's still raining. Uh, anyway, there's a 7 Eleven just outside of the subway station. I'm gonna get in there and oh, there's still lightning in the air. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my god, but the, the rain is light. The rain is kind of light. I'm gonna get in that 7 Eleven, get beer number 11, and hopefully make it my way back to my place. My place is over there. My apartment's over there. I gotta get. I gotta get there. Uh, Trying not to get my bag soaking wet. Right, so I'm in 7-Eleven. I got beer number 11, Chintao, small can. And you know what? They sell umbrellas here, thank God. So I just bought a small umbrella. It's gonna keep me dry on the way home. I'm almost home. It's about five to 10 minute walk. I still got another maybe one or two convenience stores on the way. Uh, I'm on beer number 11, but I'm, I've got some shelter from this rain with this umbrella. So I'm hopefully gonna make it back without getting my computer wet. 
so let's keep going. All right, so I'm back in my complex. Now, listen, they are, there are two convenience stores here. However, it's pouring rain. I don't want to walk to both of them. They're both on the opposite ends of the plaza. I can see them both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to the one that's closer to my place and I will just get two beers there to make up for the other one. You see, there is the other convenience store across the, across, uh, the courtyard there. But I'm gonna go to this one. This is where I gotta go, it's closer to my place. And I will just get two beers and it will just make up for that one, okay? Uh. All right guys, I made it home. I've got beer number th uh, 12 and 13 here. Uh, as you can see, so many convenience stores here in China. Uh, you know, I had to take the, the subway home uh, halfway almost because of the rain. So I missed out on probably about five, six convenience stores. But as you can see, with the exception of the beer I had at the dinner place and uh, the extra beer I got. So I had about, I, I stopped at about 11 different convenience stores. Okay. And now that that's, you know, taking into account that the fact that I took the Metro halfway home. So I missed out on a lot. You can see there are so many convenience stores, uh, you know, and they're just so close together. Doing this this challenge was uh, a little bit difficult. And if it hadn't had rained, I don't know if I would have made it home okay because uh, uh, I would have ended up having probably about five, six more beers, or if I could have, uh, it would have been a lot worse. But as you can see, so many convenience stores here in China. It's a very, very interesting place. You can't even walk down the street without finding a place to get an ice cold beer like that's just how it is it's one of the things i love about china really to be honest and you can like drink the beer right on the street i love it uh all right guys uh, i hope you liked the video uh if you did enjoy it please subscribe to the channel for some more videos on life in china some more amazing food videos fitness videos and beer videos that are coming your way all right guys until next time this is taylor the fit expat have a great day